Hello everybody, I want to talk about light and darkness. When God created the world, he said there would be light and that was light. And he saw that the light was good. He separated the light from the darkness. He called the night, what? Darkness. And he called the day, what? Light. So you can see from the get-go, God have already known the beginning to the end and the end to the beginning. Amen. So we, the children of God, we should live as a student of light. Amen. We shouldn't go on doing the things the worldly people are doing. Amen. If you are doing that today, stop doing it because you are not living up to the name Christian. Amen. It's so easy for us to say we are Christian. We should be Christ-like. When Jesus Christ came to the world, he was the light of the world. He was shining light even among the religious leaders, the Pharisees and the Sadducees. All these people, he was showing them to the right way they should live. Amen. He was pointing them to the way of salvation. Amen. And that is what we need to do today as a children of God. If you are in your place of work, in everything you are doing, you need to let your light shine. If you come in a place where there is darkness, darkness represents sin right represent righteousness you need to turn on the light so that everybody will see the light in you and they will they will glorify your god who is in heaven amen so know this today going forward as a child of god you need to separate yourself from unbelievers amen if you are if you have one already you need to talk to them about god if they refuse you should separate yourself from them otherwise one little thing, one rotten egg can corrupt the whole bunch. Amen. So don't say you're going to stay there. Try to convince them. I can guarantee you, I'm talking from experience. I am somebody who have worked in bars and clubs. Amen. I know what's going on. Okay. I know the things that I used to do. I know the things the people are still doing now. Amen. And if you cannot separate yourself from them, you will still remain in the dark. Amen. So that is why so many Christians find it difficult for them to come to the knowledge of the truth, to actually come to obey the word of God. Amen. Because you have your friends going out and doing the things that they are doing. You already know what, what they are doing. Amen. But for the fact that you cannot tell them to stop doing it. And once you tell them that, they will distance you. So you can say, show me a bad tree. You definitely have to produce a bad tree fruit show me a good tree you will produce what a good tree and that is why bible is telling you today you need to bear a good fruit with keep on with what repentance amen if you tell me that you're an apple tree i want to see you producing what apple fruit amen there's no way apple fruit is going to produce orange so you, you do you get the point the point is that as a child of god you must let your light shine in your place of work in your home in everywhere you go you can't say oh maybe because i'm not at the church today then i should leave the other way around no your church is your body and that should be every single day of your life you should live like that amen you should let the light of god shine in you amen if you have a look in the book of revelation when jesus christ was among those light that john saw in the vision that means every single day you need to ask the Holy Spirit to come into you and make the light of God shine in you. Amen. You need to keep that fire burning. Amen. You have to be like the five five uh, wise virgins. Amen. Who never let their light quench. Amen. So that light is the Holy Spirit. That oil you need to continue burning in you every single day. That is why we need to remain hot. We shouldn't be cold. Amen. So I hope this helps somebody out there. Okay. Return back to God and let the light of God shine in my life and in your life. Okay. Okay. God bless you. Take care. Bye.